everyone, it's iCrafts and today I'm going to show you a charm tutorial like promised in my last tutorial. And this is going to show you how to make a very adorable and fat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle charm. And turtles are some of my favorite animals and today I made Donatello. But you can make whichever turtle you want and um, it doesn't even have to be a Ninja Turtle. But this was designed by Creations by H on Instagram and it was based off of the animal figure and bite tutorials by A. So make sure to show us on Instagram and we can like your picture if you tag us and I will leave the hashtags and usernames down below. But this is a really, really cute turtle charm. So I hope you like it as much as I do. And let's just jump right into the tutorial. I'm sorry I keep dropping him. In order to make your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle charm, you will need any type of loom and any hook, although I do recommend using a metal tip hook to ensure that your plastic hook or whatever else you're using does not break. And then for bands, I tried to count, but if these are not the exact amounts, I apologize. So I am making my turtle neon green, and you will need about 45 to 50 bands. And then for the stomach, I'm using yellow. You can always change these colors around depending on um, what you want your charm to look like but you'll need 21 for the stomach, two black bands for your eyes, and then I'm using purple for the mask, but that really depends on what turtle you decide to make. So I will be making Donatello. You do not need a C-clip unless you want one to make it extra secure, but I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial. Sorry about the bad angle, but you wanna start with your arrows pointing down. Um, you want to start with your arrow pointing down, and I'm sorry about the angle, but just take one green band and go from the top pin to the second pin. And it's a single band because this is the slipknot band, but for the rest we'll be using double bands unless I say otherwise. So now take a set of double bands and go diagonally downwards. And then you want to push your bands down because there is a lot of bands on your loom. And then you want to do that on the right as well. So you're just going to make an upside down Y kind of. And now still with green, we're going to do one row. So go downwards on all three pin bars. And sorry that it was kind of above my screen. But next I'm going to switch to my mask color, so purple. I'm going to do another row. Still using double bands, like I said. And now I'm going to finish off the head by connecting the middle pin bar to the left pin. So we're going to make it kind of a weird shape, but this will in the end make it um, like it would look in the square set position, if that makes sense. Um, so it will look weird, but this is how the head is. So hopefully I did not go too fast. And then switching back to my green to go down and make the neck. And then I'm going to branch out like we did with the head. So I'm going to make the, the shoulders. And then we're going to be using the stomach color. And I'm going to make three rows on all three pin bars with yellow. And we will be making extensions to make the turtle um, wider, fatter, I guess, whatever you want to say. Um, so there will be a green border, but this part is just all yellow. <coughs> Cut that out! Thank you. 
and if um, I seem like I'm taking a really long time, I just really want to go slow, and also I don't want my bands to be twisted because that will not look as good. So now I've done three rows, I'm going to switch back to my green, and I'm only going to go downwards on the left and right because this is the legs. Like that. And then we have finished our body, basically. So now I'm going to just do the extensions with you. So those are going to go on these four pins or the over the three sets of yellow. So you're taking your green and you want to push all of these bands down. And we're only going to be working on the left and right pin bars. So first on the left, Here's the shoulder, so from there you're going to go downwards and it's going to be right on top of the yellow. But um, we're going to do a few things with that. So you'll see in a bit. And then we're just going to make a chain of three double bands going down. And this is where it ends right here. And I'm going to do that on the right as well. And I have some broken bands here. So it should look like this. So to attach the extensions to the body and make it um, so that it looks like it's all one thing and not just like a loop on the side, if you know what I mean, then we are going to place three horizontal bands. So the first one is going to go right below the shoulders, just on these three pins, then right below it. And now for the third one, you're going to start on this pin right here, but you're going to, instead of going over the three pegs, circle around the middle one and place it right there. So this band will be on the outside. And now I'm going to place two cat bands. So on this peg right here, I'm going to wrap a green band around three times. And this is the cat band for the extensions. And I'm going to do that on the left side as well like that. And now I'm going to loop the bands. So go inside the cat band as well as this triangle band and grab the top two bands, loop that forward. And you want to make sure you do not grab this green band right here or this yellow band because it should be separate. So just keep doing that and loop up the three bands. It'll look like this. And then do the same on the right. And I'm going kind of fast here, so I apologize. So now we want to do it so that these bands are kind of on the side. So you can see that they're around this pin, but we want to get them on this side. And while doing that, make sure that the horizontal bands stay on. So go inside the horizontal band towards the middle of your loom and grab these bands that are the extension bands and pull them over the pin. So it will look like that and then do that below so you can see that when you pull on this it's separate. And another way to do it is just to grab the bands and lift them off but it's a little easier with your hook so just stay here. So just stay here. I'll zoom in. And just grab the bands and pull them over the pin. So it's kind of tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. So, so next I'm going to place the cat bands on the feet. So just grab another green band and wrap it around three times. Okay, so on these two pins, the very bottom green bands. And now I'm going to make the arms. 
So I'm going to use my hook, take one band, and wrap it around your hook three times. And please excuse my nails. And then take two bands and slide the cat bands onto them. So this is our arm, it's just one link, uh, one link of double bands and the triple wrap cap band. And now I'm going to grab my loom and it's going to go on the shoulder peg right here. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on your loom. So just go to the bottom where there's no other bands and place two bands going down and then make a cap band. And then you can go inside and loop that band and take it off. So that's a really fast way to do it, but I think I prefer doing it on my hook. And now you've got the same look. And you can put it right there. Okay, so this is what our arms look like and you can tell it's really cute already. But next I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm going to take my black band and it's going to go where the top of the two purple bands go. So you're going to go on the third peg on your loom and wrap a black band around four times. Like that. I'm going to do the same on the right and on the middle. Um, obviously there's only two eyes. So you only need two bands. And then I'm going to make a triangle band. So place it on these two pins plus the one in the middle. And now I'm going to show you how to loop the eyes. So I'm sorry if I can't explain this super well. But um, this is basically the way most eyes are looped. So staying on the outside of the pin, not going inside the horizontal band. You're going to just grab some of the black loops and pull them towards the center. And that way they will be on the horizontal band. And you can slide them towards the middle, but you can always adjust them when you're done. And now since the black bands have been looped, I'm going to do the mask with you. So it's kind of similar to the arms. And you do need to make this on your hook. So take a purple band or whatever color your mask is and wrap it around your hook three times and then pull two bands through. Put that back on your hook and just slide it over here and you're going to do that again. So wrap a band around your hook three times, pull two bands through. So you have two little links and they should not be connected. And now you're going to take two more purple bands and just slide the purple onto the take two more bands and then pull it through everything on your hook then you can replace it on your hook and this is what you'll have this is going to go on the right side where the eye band was right there and that is the little tie on the mask. So we have done all of the extra parts for our turtle and now we are ready to start the hooking process. So I'm just going to give you an overview, make sure you have everything. The first thing I'm going to do is go inside this cat band and grab the two bands and loop those forward. Now those are the legs. And in the middle, there's nothing to push back, so you can just grab the band and go forward. I'm going to do that all the way up. And now I'm going to go inside these layers, and there's quite a bit of layer. There's quite a few layers on this peg, so I'll just go inside all of them and make sure you're grabbing the white or the yellow band. Sorry. And there's a lot of tension, so. Just um, try not to break your hook if you're using a plastic hook and don't pull the bands too much or those bands will break. And then just keep going that. So I like to tilt my loom and just make sure I'm grabbing the very bottom bands. 
And then I'm going to, again, find all these bands, or find, go through all of these bands, sorry. I'm getting kind of jumbled with my words. And you want to grab the green bands and loop those inwards, and now I'm going to repeat the same thing, and this time I'm still tilting my loom um, towards the... I'm still tilting my loom towards the right side because I can't really tilt it that way. And as you can see, these bands really do not want to come. So I'm just going to help them with my hand or my fingers. And it still is not working. So I'm going to just try to relieve some pressure and just keep trying. And as you can see, they came pretty easily. And my bands are very close to breaking there. So I'm just going to... inwards and now all of these bands you have to go through and grab the neck bands so just make sure you're pushing them all back there is a lot of layers so I looped that forward hopefully you could too feel free to pause the video because um, it can be kind of tricky because there's a lot of bands and now I'm going to grab the top bands which are going to the right and I only grabbed one but that's okay um, I can just grab the other and these spins as well and just by looping it you can see that it's a more normal shape already and now I'm just going to loop these rows upwards like a triple single And then I looped those inwards and went up. Sorry, I did not say what I was doing there. But um, this band, as you can see, there's a lot of bands here. So I'm just going to help it along. And just kind of use my hook to push all the bands around. And now you can... Um, you can use a C-clip. I'm just going to slip knot these bands. Just be very careful. Do not over pull your bands or they might break. And now I'm going to take everything off of my loom and um, I'm just showing you what it looks like. And I can tell it's going to be adorable already. So I'm going to take it off my loom and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So I just took it off my loom and there's a few things you need to do obviously because it's curled up. So first I'm just going to stretch it out and kind of push my fingers through the back and I'm just going to grab my slip knot band and pull it and then you can just tug on these bands and this is a very exaggerated tie but it's still really cute and then you can pull in the extensions and the arms and legs and then this is your turtle I think it looks absolutely adorable and I think it's really cute how fat he is um, so I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you out, please post this on Instagram with hashtag creations by H and hashtag I craft stuff um, because creations by H designed this like I said in the beginning and this was based off of tutorials by A's animal figurine but there were quite a few modifications uh, made to this charm. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!